I'm back on my account that's made money through only the auction house, and now that the bazaar's been added, I can become the king of stonks as well. Oh, I need level 7 skills, but I didn't want to actually have to do anything on this account. I have 14 million coins in my purse, and I just discovered the forest. This has to be the first time this has happened. Gold ingot unlocked! Let me just use a speed run strategy here. I'm just need to a bit more wheat, and finally, we can get started with trading. The first thing I did was to look for some items that had quite a big difference between buy and sell values. For example, Glowstone has a few hundred dollars in between the buy price and the sell price. Therefore, you can buy slightly higher than the current highest bid and sell for slightly lower than the current lowest bid and earn a couple hundred dollars on each item. Now, a couple hundred dollars doesn't seem like much, but if you're buying quantities in the thousands, you can earn a lot of money at once. For example, if I buy a thousand glowstone for 800 coins and sell it all back for 1000 coins, I'll make 200,000 coins off the deal, although you have to include the 1% tax on all sales, so I'd only earn 190,000 coins. If I keep repeating this for glowstone and for lapis lazuli, carrot works as well, as well as coal, if you keep doing this over and over, then you're going to earn lots of free money over time. So just always keep your eye out for items that have a big margin in between buy and sell and you can operate within that margin and make money while everyone else is doing nothing. And I did this for a while, earned a couple of million coins, but it wasn't fast enough for me. If I want to make a lot of money, I need a mentor, someone who knows what they're doing, who knows how to work the stock market. Who better than the Wolf of Wall Street? No, not him, the real guy. This man knows everything there is to know about making money through stocks, so I'm going to use his advice to get rich. Playing it safe and taking no risks is a shortcut to poverty. He's right, if I want to make real money, I need to take more risks and go for some high roller items. So I went and bought 20 super compactors off the bazaar for 391,000 each. I waited till they were cheap and then went for it. These go for a lot on the auction house. If you put them up for 400,000 coins, sometimes they go for that, but a lot of time they get outbid for 450,000 coins. You also have to remember that there's a fee for putting up a starting price on items. If I put a super compactor up for 400,000 coins, it cost me 20,000 coins, making the total price of putting it up 411,000 coins. So I could lose 11,000 coins from this. But if I put it up for 420,000, then the starting price fee only goes up by 1,000 and I'm guaranteed at least 9k profit. I came back a bit later and most of them went for 460k, so I made 40 grand off each one of these purchases. By the way, I'm not going to be using stonks in this because they might be removed from the game soon and they're very unreliable and I want this to be sort of a tutorial that any of you can follow. I was browsing the bazaar for good deals and I saw that Enchanted Bones were selling for over 120,000 coins per stack and I remember that they used to sell for 80,000 from the NPC. So I looked on the auction house and sure enough no one had bid highly on any of them. So I started bidding 90,000 coins on every single bit of bone I could find and then selling it back to the bazaar. Look at that instant sell made 30,000 coins. So I just go to the auction house, 30,000 coins for typing that, 30,000 coins for typing that. This is the easiest money I've ever made. Oh and here's a quick money making tip for new players. Go to the wood merchant, buy 10 stacks of each type of wood, come over back to the bazaar and sell it all instantly. You'll make 30,000 coins in one minute for doing nothing and you can do this once per day. So everyone should be making at least 30,000 coins a day. Back at the auction house, I know that Protector and Old Dragon Armor sells for 100,000 coins per piece. So I bid 90,000 coins on all the lowest bids for the next few hours so that I knew if I want any of them, it's a guaranteed 10,000 coins. And no one else wanted to outbid me because they have to pay slightly over 100,000 coins making it worthless. So as long as you get in first, you should get money. It's all going well, but I could be better. I think I need some more mentoring from my man Jordan Belfort. Act as if you were already a tremendous success. Uh, someone wants a really good builder to help judge their island. Am I a good builder? Uh, Act as if you were already a tremendous success. Yes, I can do this. Ah, oh, this is really nice. I like the large area, nice colours, the lanterns are cool. Was I supposed to be doing something? Oh yeah, getting rich. But I wanted to go to sleep for the night, which doesn't mean I can't make money while I'm sleeping. I put in tons of bids that were guaranteed to make me money, like 90,000 on all the dragon armour. But then I saw that people were buying raw chicken on the bazaar for just over 600 coins a stack. Now if you sell raw chicken 
stack to the NPC, you'll get 640 coins. So if I bought it for 600 coins per piece, I would be getting money guaranteed. So I put on a bid for 10,000 pieces of chicken and whatever I got in the morning, I could make money on. I wasn't expecting to get that many of these items, but any that I did were guaranteed profit. I also did this with beef, just in case it dropped below 640. Another great way to tell how much an item is worth is using the graphs in the bazaar. If you're in advanced mode, then you can check the graphs for any item that shows the prices over the past few days. It's automatically set to the past month, but just change the zone that it's only for one day. Here you can see that coal averages somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200 coins. So if I put a bid on for less than 1,000 coins, then at some point it should bounce back to around 1,200 where I can sell it. So overnight I put on a bid for 900-ish coins, and then in the morning, once I get whatever coal I can get, I can sell it back for almost 300 coins per piece. And if I'm buying thousands at a time, that's going to give me a lot of money. Now going back to some more expensive items, I looked at Tarantula Web. This requires flint to make. Now you used to be able to buy flint from the NPC for 60,000 coins, so people have made a lot of it. But now that you can't buy flint from the NPC, the price has gone up a lot. And people haven't realised this yet, so Tarantula Web was still fairly cheap. I bought it on the auction house for 110,000 coins, and then I sold it on the bazaar for 130,000 coins. In hindsight, I probably should have kept on to this longer, because it'll go even further up until it balances out with the price of flint. But either way, if you can find something that's cheap on the auction house, or more expensive in the bazaar, you should use that. The same works both ways. If it's cheaper on the bazaar, sell it on the auction house. But for the next couple of weeks, everyone's going to be using the bazaar far too much because it's exciting and new. So we're probably going to get a lot of cheap deals on the auction house. I'm almost done, but I need to go back to my mentor for one more bit of advice. I gotta do coke to balance that what? out. And then you start no, doing coke. Don't say that. Zags. Stop. Jordan, there morphine. are kids in the audience. You know? Let's what go rip let's Stop. go rip people off. What are you saying? I'm on 22 different drugs, you know? <sighs> okay, let's just move on ourselves without any mentoring needed. The next thing I moved my attention onto was presents. The snow event had just happened, which means that all the presents had dropped price significantly, but after a day or two, they'll probably rise right back up. So I got in quick, I bought presents as they were cheap, and then sold them back for about 10,000 coins for every present. You can use the same idea for the spooky festival when gathering candy. After using all these techniques for about two days, I'm on 22 million coins. That's about 4 million coins per day from this method. I'm going to end this video here now that we're only 10 million coins away from full superior armor, even though this account's only a couple of weeks old. <laughs>